Nice ball game. Uh, it re really was. Uh, you know, we came out with a really good approach at the plate, and uh, you know, strong pitching by Miranda. Really got in a nice roll. Probably as crisp and as smooth as we've seen him work since he's been here. So uh, against you know a really hot hitting team. So uh, nice effort uh, by everybody around. And you know, Lindo jump on his back tonight. He steps up and he has the ability to do that once in a while. You know, drive in a few runs and then hit a few balls out of the ballpark. So. Uh, Really, uh, really excited about uh, Miranda. I thought he threw the ball really outstanding. Outside, you know, we make the air and they get a hit, and, and, and the homer was was really, really sharp. He threw well out of the gates too, and that seems like that was a little bit of a hurdle for him early. What did you see from that? Uh, the, the first inning is always the toughest first starter, and uh, I was excited. You know, it took it takes him a while to get the velo going and, and getting a rhythm, getting a feel for the changeup. But he was aggressive. I think he, you know, he's shown that he can get the changeup over the plate, throw for strikes. He had him kind of in swing mode, which is great. That's where you want to have him. And uh, you know, they, he had just had the ball off the barrel tonight. Didn't overpower them by any means, but. Uh, Really, the kind of outing we needed. It's just nice to see him get in a great rhythm. You know, it was back and forth and using both the pitches and even worked in a few sliders tonight as well. You said you want to get Seth going from the top of the lineup. That, that it worked. Well. It worked. <laughs> it's amazing how that happens once in a while, isn't it? You know? Uh, he had a good at bat last night, and, and uh, you know, he hasn't really been the true Seth Smith in the second half. So uh, sometimes you get sparked by a good at bat, drive the ball to the park. Really good game tonight. You know, uh, it's a good matchup for him and, and a bunch of our left-handed hitters. So, um, took advantage of it and, and gotten good counts and put some good swings on it. Scott, you mentioned the air. It looked like sort of a sloppy effort. That it yeah, I don't know if the ball, you know, kicked up or, or what happened there, but yeah, you know, it's about protecting the baseball and, and securing those outs. You know, late in the game against an explosive team like that, you just don't you want to keep them down, and uh, that kind of got a little bit of life into them uh, after that and. Fortunate enough, our bullpen was good tonight. I really, you know, Nick Vincent is back to throwing like he was earlier in the season. You know, Shrek got some big outs and, you know, needed to get Diaz was going to pitch tonight no matter what. Just it had been four days since he'd been in there. So. I mentioned the error, but then Martin Dale was out there in the eighth with a nice running catch where he could have gotten. He brought the leather tonight. He said, Skip, I could bring in the leather. I said, good, you ain't bringing in the lumber. So, <laughs> you know, he brings something every night, and uh, he, he certainly did. Made a couple of, of outstanding catches. Does it catalyze you a little bit? You see Adam hit two home runs like that, and, you know, face more right-handers or something like that, just kind of on that event, seeing what you can do a little bit? Uh, you got to play the game and the schedule and, and what it brings your way. Um, you know, he has the ability to do that. We haven't seen it. We've seen it in, in patches, you know, throughout the course of the year. He just hasn't put together kind of a normal Adam Lind year. But you look up at the end of it, he's still got 20 homers. He, he, he's had some games like this where he can really carry you. Um, it just hasn't been that consistent.